Welcome to The Balcony, where John and I today are going to be reviewing a recently released movie on Netflix called The Neon Highway. And uh, before we tell you a little bit more about it, uh, I was in intrigued because Lloyd Bridges has two great kids, Bo and the other one, to get to all the, the nominations. The other Jeff, one. Jeff Bridges. It's Jeff. Right. And if their name is attached to a movie, even though I wasn't particularly interested in it necessarily, I figured that I got to watch this film to see what he did. Yeah. And yeah. He, he did, let me just say, he did not disappoint. <laughs> I love it, the other one, oh, Jeff. Yeah. And, but they are both good actors, yeah. there's no doubt about that. So, And I it did attract, uh, it, Jeff Bridges uh, did attract me to the film as well. Yeah. Um, I hadn't heard anything about it, didn't know anything about it. Um, went on Netflix to take a look at some of the reviews, kind of mixed reviews. Yeah. Um, let me tell you, let me give you the synopsis of the story uh, before we get into whether you liked it and I liked it and the fact that it may be a stinker or a real uh, a real hit. Um, Bo Bridges is an a um, over the hill country singer. He's down and out 25 years later uh, and he's uh, drinking a lot of whiskey and uh, people really don't know him too much too well. And the story opens up with a, a pair of brothers, uh, two brothers who want to be country singers, uh, stars, and they're a, uh, one brother's a guitar player, the picker, and the other guy's the singer, Wayne. They get to Nashville. It's going to be their big break. They, uh, they play at a club, and uh, they get in a car crash, and their career is over. Seven years later, the story picks up when the singer brother, Wayne, uh, is now working for a telecom company, installing phones and cable TV and things like that, and runs into this ancient, uh, we'll call him retired country singer, uh, known as Claude Allen. Uh, and that's, of course, Jeff Bridges. Oh, and Bo. No, it's Jeff, I think. No, no, it? no, Bo. Oh, but I'm mixing the, up his brothers. The, like I say, the, the Bridges boys are both great. So you well, anyway. It could have been either one, but in this case right. you're right, it's Bo. <laughs> and does it really matter? I mean, after all, they're all bridges. Um at any rate, <laughs> Bo Bo Bridges turns out to be a as you would expect a curmudgeon who's uh got nothing left and is soured on music and all of that kind of stuff. But when he finds out that Wayne has written a song and just through a, a series of uh, situations, he he hears the song and says it's not bad, and then realizes that he can do something with it. He adds a phrase or a twist of a turn or a chord or something like that and makes the song better. Wayne says, oh, my God, there's hope for us. We quit the music business seven years ago. Maybe this could, uh, Maybe this could bring us back, and after all, I need the money. You know, my kid needs the money and that kind of thing. So the rest of the movie is a an adventure as Wayne goes with Claude back to Nashville in hopes that Claude's old connections will give him, because they've got no money, will give him a free audition and a free recording and a, a test and that they'll sell the music, uh, the song together as partners and that Claude's uh, ancient fame We'll get them uh, a, a record deal. And it's a pretty good story. Um, it's not an unusual story in that regard. It's kind of simple. But the characters are terrific. And having spent a little bit of time around Nashville and the music industry, the country music industry, I can tell you that everything rings true. It all seems reasonable. And the people are great. Um, right. And also, John, if I, if I can add that the... Uh... Uh, one of the underpinnings of the story is that um, uh, the uh, what's his name uh, uh, Rob Mays, who plays the the, the prince of, the singer uh, in the, the story, Wayne, yeah, plays uh, became estranged with his brother after the accident because he actually tried to he was told right. that he could have a contract but his brother couldn't yeah. and his brother was equally involved in, in in getting him to the point where they had this hit song. And so the, the brothers were estranged for these seven years later. Uh, and of course, they're just getting by uh, yeah. anyway, and they, they haven't seen each other. 
And it turns out that when he hooks up with the Bo Bridges character, uh, it looks like he's going to have to sell him out too. And right. it's all about a story of redemption. And uh, right. we won't spoil that part for you. But I think the important thing is that um, it, I thought really fine acting by Bo Bridges. Everybody else did an adequate job, but I, it, it's worth, for my, for my money, is it's worth seeing one of the Bridges boys, and it's not a bridge too far, <laughs> and it's a bow. Neither one of the Bridges and it's, boys. And it, it's a bow, so uh, we've got a bow on this one. Uh, yeah. But they, uh, I, I found very few things that either one of these guys, the brothers, have been in. And so that was what interested me in wanting to see this. Uh, because, uh, as John said, it did get uh, really between lukewarm and almost not even lukewarm reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, which I, by the way, uh, we should do a whole segment on Rotten Tomatoes because I actually went down to read about what all they, they have, they have a, a tomato meter and they got audiencing and yeah. then they have different levels. And it's kind of interesting how they break it up. And uh, I actually printed it out. We'll do that some other day. But uh, I would like to, uh, from uh, my, my seat, heartily recommend uh, you go on to Netflix and see Neon Highway with Bo Bridges and a bunch of other kind of really interesting uh, actors. Most of them, I think, are really pretty much unknown, but uh, I think give a very credible performance. Well, I don't know that they're unknown. Um, they're certainly not household names right. as actors. Uh, Rob Mays, um, I think, um, well, he's done a fair amount of acting. You know, you might mm -hmm. recognize him from somewhere. But he was very good, and yeah. quite frankly, I loved his voice, his singing voice. Yeah, great voice. Um, the, uh, the there's two uh, two country music uh, performers, I'll call them. Lee Bryce uh, plays Lamont, who's a plays a, a country music musician, and Pam Tillis, mm. both uh, actual recording artists in the world of country music. So they lent. I think, first of all, their acting was terrific, yeah. but they lent an air of credibility to if for those people who would know the names to the to the music uh, to the uh, movie. Rob Mays was the best, and it's really about uh, there's there's a dual storyline here. It's Rob Mays's life, and it's Bo Bridges uh, yeah. trying to get back to his life. And it turns out that the the one song they're trying to sell. That was done by the brothers seven years ago. Um, if you look at the lyrics, the lyrics are really Bo Bridges' life, mm. which is why he becomes enamored and wants to get back in the game, as it were, and make that song a hit. Um, it's a wonderful, heartwarming story. It moves slowly, I thought, <laughs> uh, but I mean, it didn't bother me. I right. never got bored. Yeah, and so I think maybe that's why some of the Rotten Tomatoes were rotten. Um, some people just didn't care for country music. Some people didn't care for the slowness of it. But it's a delicious movie all the way through. It is long, and it is a little slow, but it's well paced and uh, well acted. I I really enjoyed it. And the really great thing about Netflix is you you can hit pause, go to the bathroom, get another snack, <laughs> okay, answer the phone. Uh, check yeah. to see if you've got a prime delivery from Amazon and then come back and watch the rest of it. So uh, that's that's a plus <laughs> as opposed to seeing it in the theater. That's true. That's true. Um, anyway, I I hope people go and uh, go to Netflix and watch Neon Highway. I think you'll enjoy it. Have a great week. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends, Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life.